Just rapping. That's right. We don't need no actors or actresses to be the spokesmen for God's church. That's right. That's right. We're not looking to be popular. No. The popular one for us is God. That's right. That's right. The church have gotten distracted. Yeah. And the love of money have become a big distraction to the church because the church don't want to be different from the world. That's right. But the Bible teaches us in Leviticus 10, 10, Chapter put 10 and verse 10. a difference. That ye may put difference. That ye may put a difference. Between holy, between holy and unholy. And unholy. And between unclean and, between unclean and clean. And because so-called Christians so -called. are too ashamed of the Bible. That's right. And too ashamed to live holy and sanctified. Sanctified. See, when you sanctify it, you are set apart for God. Sanctify Holy. them. You are sanctified. You're set apart for God. Right. How in the world you sanctified for God when you a man dressed like a woman? Amen. Amen. Tyler Perry. Ricky Smiley. My brother was telling me there was some Academy Award going on for some stars and, and some actor came out with a tux blazer and a full dress gown. My Lord, my Lord. And the actors and actresses community stood up applauding him, mm. talking about it was brave what he'd done. What's so brave a grown man getting dressed like a woman? Like a woman. That's not brave. It's a disgrace. That's right. <laughs> you see, Hollywood is attracted to men like Jake's. Yeah. Because Jake's pay, they pay Jake's. Yeah. Hollywood is attracted to the cotton candy merchant, Joel Alstein. That's right. Because Joel, the Jakes and Joel Alstein won't hurt or offend the sinner. That's right. They are not preaching the gospel. No. Let me say it again. They are nothing but motivational speakers. That's right. Anytime you preach the gospel, you must condemn the sins of the world. So, they say, well, Pastor Jennings never talk about grace. Every time we stand up, we talk about grace. That's right. Because we only can preach by the grace of Almighty God. That's right. We live today by God's grace. We are here today by God's grace. What is God's grace? God's compassion, God's mercy. God had mercy on us and brought us into the knowledge of the holy ways of God. That's right. So right away they said, Pastor Jennings, he don't preach with love. They say love is not speaking against the wrong. You see how wicked they are? <laughs> love is, you, you don't over, you just overlook the wrong. Love cover a multitude of sins. <laughs> yeah, love cover it, but do you know what it means? Yeah. Love covering a multitude of sins, meaning God will forgive the multitude of sins because God is love. That's right. But God don't forgive you for your sins so you can stay in them? No, no, no. Is that Bible? Oh, yes. In Romans chapter 6 and verse 1. Romans chapter 6 and verse 1 says, What shall we say then? What shall 
we say this. Shall we continue in sin? Shall we keep sinning? That grace. All that? Amen. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. You out there always yeah. want to talk about God's love, God's grace. I believe in God love and God's grace because that's why we're here. That's right. But that grace should not be abused. That's right. That compassion should not be taken advantage of. That's right. For there's another scripture that says God will have mercy on whom he will have mercy. That's right. Do you know the mercy of God can run out on your life? Oh, yes. God will tolerate you for a time. Even the Bible says how God speak once, yea, twice, and man perceiveth it not. That's right. In a dream, in a, you know, God will chase you in your dream. You didn't want to hear this while you was wide awoke. You got angry and cussed it out when you was wide awoke. So God said, I get you in your sleep. In a dream. In the book of Job, the Bible says. In Job 33 and verse 14. Says what? For God speaketh once. God. God. You can't outrun God. No, no. You make an outrun the police after you don't rape that woman or sodomize that boy and carjack that family. Yeah. But you will never outrun God. That's right. God speak once. Yea, twice. Yea, twice. Yet man perceiveth it not. And man ignored. In a dream. So God say, I chase you. I go after you while you sleep. In a vision of the night. When what? When deep sleep falleth upon men. What do God do, son? In slumberings upon the bed. How do God work? Then he openeth God the ears openeth of men. God the ears of men and, and sealeth seal their instruction. Their instruction for what reason? That he may withdraw that man may from withdraw his purpose. withdraw man from his agenda. And hide pride from man. What is he doing? He keepeth back his soul from the pit. Why is God going after him? the dream? He keepeth back his soul from the pit. To keep you from going to hell. That's right. That's right. 